today. Hello. Oh, we're on. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Anthony here with Tweet Town once again for a new Facebook Live video. And today we have some wicked news. Overnight, there's been rumors of the GTX 1080 Ti. Now, 24 hours ago, we had a bunch of rumors and a bunch of leaks on the Volta architecture, which is the architecture that's gonna succeed Pascal, which is the current GPU architecture that runs inside of the GeForce GTX 1060, the 1070, the 1080, and the new Titan X, as well as the upcoming and only rumored right now, GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti. The new GTX 1080 Ti will still continue to use the Pascal architecture, and then the cards after that, most likely we'll see the next generation Volta architecture unveiled at the GPU Technology Conference in May. And that's where we'll finally probably see Nvidia actually show us Volta, even though they've teased it for a long time now, that's gonna be the first time we're actually gonna see it and have all the details of the new GPU architecture. On top of that, we'll probably see a high performance computing part, either again, teased or released at GCC, just like we had at the GCC this year, where Nvidia unveiled the Pascal architecture in at least some form, and then um, unveiled the uh, the Tesla P100, the first Pascal-based graphics card with HBM2 technology. We know to expect something at GTC, but before then to have a GTX 1080 Ti launch is very interesting. The rumors started floating out today that there's gonna be a GTX 1080 Ti, um, there's no price, but we're pretty much expecting um, uh, Pascal-based Titan X performance, but for consumers. Instead of the Pascal, that's the, Bas the Pascal-based Titan X in, in the PC that you see next to me, it is an incredible card. It is a decent leap on the GTX 1080, especially when you have it in the right use for 1440p and super high refresh rates. Uh, it does come in handy for multiple monitors. It comes in handy for 4K gaming. There's a decent boost. Um, for virtual reality gaming, there's a decent boost. So, you know, the, t the 1080 is fast, but the Titan X is actually a, a fair chunk faster and the 1080 Ti will uh, reportedly be the same. So the specifications on the on the GTX 1080 Ti, again, this is just leaks. There's nothing confirmed by Nvidia. Nvidia would never confirm anything like this until there are NDAs in place. So this is, I don't have an NDA on any of this. This is just a pure leak. So you're looking at the 1080 Ti having virtually the same specs as the Titan X. So we're looking at 12 gigabytes, of GDDR um, 5X memory at 10 gigabits. You're looking at 300, a 384 gigabit, a 384 bit memory bus, which will provide 480 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth, which is really, really good compared to the 320 gigabytes a second of the GTX 1080. The GTX 1080 has a decent amount of, giga, uh, of memory bandwidth, but it's only 320 gigabytes a second, which again is, is absolutely fine for, for most of the games that are out today, most of the resolutions that you can buy today. But there's a bunch of new stuff coming out that, uh, next year that I don't even think a lot of people actually understand. Even if they understand, they don't know how much power it's gonna to require to run this stuff. So right now, the maximum kind of um, a screen, refresh, a screen refresh rate that you can get is on a 1440p display, which is what I'm using here with the, um, the Acer XB270HU. So I have a 1440p native resolution with a 144 hertz refresh rate with G-Sync to um, refresh technology on it. But then next year, we're gonna be looking at 4K 120 hertz panels, which are gonna require an immense amount of GPU power. And then we also have um, a 1440p at 240 hertz as well, which is gonna be a pretty big leap um, in terms of um, in terms of raw uh, raw horsepower, so we're going from 1440p at 144 hertz, which is pretty hard on a graphics card as it is, to 1440p at most likely something like 240 hertz, which is a huge jump. It's a massive leap. Most people don't need it, but in games like Overwatch, Team Fortress 2, Counter Strike Go, um, you will actually feel the difference between 120, 144 hertz, and 240 hertz. And then not only that, we're going to be going from 4K 60 hertz to 4K 120. So the memory bandwidth is very important when we go to 4K 120 and then you start doing multiple graphics, uh, multiple um, uh, screens. So you've got triple 4K at 120 hertz, even two of these new 1080 Ti's wouldn't keep up. So you need that memory bandwidth. Uh, in terms of CUDA cores, Nvidia always do, uh, always like slices down the CUDA cores on a refresh card like this. So the Titan X, um, the Pascal Titan X has 3,581 CUDA cores, while the 1080 Ti has 3,228. So it's a little reduction, but I don't think you're gonna see a massive change of performance 
um, from the Titan X um, uh, Pascal, mainly because the base and boost plots have actually also been increased on the 1080 Ti. So the, again, this is purported information. There's nothing, this is all leaks, conjecture. We have no, like there's salt flying behind me around my back like that. There's just everything. I'm going every single superstition that I can. The base and boost clocks on the Titan X are 14, 17 and 15, 30 respectively. And then we have, um, so 14, 17 and 15, 30 versus 15, 03 and 16, 23. So side by side, the Titan X, is 1417 base, while the 1080 Ti will reportedly be 1503. So it's about 100 megahertz or 90 megahertz or so. Um, and then the Titan X is 1530 boost, while the, uh, the 1080 Ti will be 1623. It's not too bad. We're looking at about the same, um, I would say the same performance, even though we've got a little bit less CUDA core count. Uh, we have increased base and boost clocks. We have the same RAM, which I, which a lot of the rumors before pegged the GTX 1080 Ti um, uh, at using GDDR5, which I'm sure if you guys remember, I was saying at the time, I don't know why Nvidia would do this. And those rumors seem to be so out of place to have a, have a 1080 and then a Titan X, um, both using GDDR5 X, and then in the middle release a card that's more expensive than the T Ti, uh, more expensive than the 1080, but then trying to get to Titan X performance, but then provide it with the memory that's from the 1070, which is below the 1080. It made no sense. So these new rumors with the new information make more sense because the 1080 Ti will, will supposedly have 12 gigabytes of GDDR5X. That's good, but for Nvidia to launch it at CES, it's gonna be very weird because I'd expect samples to be going out to the media, um, uh, usually before a launch. So that'll be interesting to see whether, uh, whether people like myself will get samples during the Christmas period. Um, so we can actually review the hardware and then have our reviews ready for January, uh, ready for the, the unveiling, which is supposedly gonna happen at CES um, in early January next year, or whether Nvidia announce the card at CES, provide us with information um, on NDA, and then, um, uh, then we can see uh, the cards coming to our houses after that.